What's going on everybody? This is Paradise Cities. Today I am bringing you a Sony Vegas rendering guide. So have you ever searched the internet for the best rendering settings and find some people suggest using WMV? Well there's other people that suggest MP4 and you don't you just don't know which to choose. Well I'm gonna be breaking it down within three subcategories today: quality, size, but most importantly time. So hopefully this will clear up any confusion and help you make the best choice. First, let's try rendering out as WMV. Now notice the length of the clip, 4 minutes 28 seconds. So I'm going to show you that I am going to be rendering it out as WMV at 10 megabits per second. I will be doing this for MP4 as well. I will be cutting out the middle part so that it will speed up the video. Now as you can see, rendering out this WMV video file, it took 18 minutes and 1 second to do a complete render of a 4 minute and 28 second clip. Let's go ahead and try to do MP4. If you haven't noticed, it's the same clip, same length, 4 minutes 28 seconds. I'm going to be rendering it out as an MP4 file and I will be showing you that it is going to be set at a constant bit rate of 10. and. Um, I'm also going to cut out the middle just so that it can speed up the video. Alright, as you can see, rendering out as an MP4 is only 10 minutes 40 seconds for the same 4 minute 28 clip. So what do all these numbers mean? Well, let's pull out our calculator and make some calculations. If, if you can remember, the WMV file was 18 minutes and 1 second. So if we do the calculation, the total is 1,081 seconds. Now the MP4 file was 10 minutes and 40 seconds. So if you do those calculations, you're looking at 640 seconds. Now the whole video footage, the clip in the timeline, was 4 minutes and 28 seconds. So if you do those calculations, you're looking at 268 seconds. So if you do the calculations correctly, if you were to render out a WMV file, you're looking at about roughly 4 minutes per 1 minute of video footage. Now if you were to render out as an MP4 file, you're looking at roughly 2 minutes and 40 seconds per uh, 1 minute of video footage. So what does that mean? Well, if you were to, if you have a footage that was 20 minutes and you wanted to render out as a WMV file, your rendering time is, you're looking at 80 minutes of rendering time. Now, if you were to take those, that 20 minute clip and also render out as a MP4, your time is cut almost in half to 48. The last two categories are quality and size. If you could see the size, there's only a small difference. As far as quality, I've changed formats on my channel numerous times and nobody even noticed. So let's do a quick recap with all the information we've gathered today. Again, both qualities are great with no significant differences. With the size, MP4 does beat the WMV file, but it's only a small difference. For WMV files, it takes roughly 4 minutes of render time for every 1 minute of video footage. And lastly, for MP4 files, it takes roughly 2.4 minutes of rendering time for every 1 minute of footage. Because there's not a big difference between the size and quality of each video format, I base my decision mainly on the rendering time that it takes. And because of that, in my opinion, the best format to choose is... Yes, I picked the MP4. Overall, it has the best quality, the best rendering time, and the best size. The rendering times might be different from yours because my machine is different from yours, and also my machine 
could also be more powerful from yours. Hopefully this helps you choose in which format is best for you to use and clears up all the confusion. Even I had two render settings video, one using MP4 and one using WMV. If you have any more questions, feel free to message me. Be sure to comment, rate, and especially subscribe for more future video tutorials and guides such as this. And remember, in my opinion, MP4 is the way to go.